Welcome back, guys. I've been finishing off the old Fredericksburg to Charleston line, and it's all ready to rock and roll. All I need to do is put some vehicles on. So let's do that. Right. Now, we've got, we've got a fairly short run down to Charlottesville, but then we've got this really long run out to Charleston. So I'm thinking some trains that can actually take advantage of that, that long track might make a bit of money. So what we're going to put in... I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I am thinking down here to maybe use the Hiawathas. Uh, what else could we use? I really need to start using these um, PRRGG1s. Oh, I, I'm, I'm seriously thinking we should electrify the, 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 the main northeast corridor. I really think that should happen. I think maybe, like, like if we were to go for like a Hiawatha with the streamlined new mexico now but hang on a second hang on a second this thing does um, this thing does 99 and these new mexicos only do 93 and i think we might actually hit the 99. um hmm um what else have we got what else have we got um, no it's kind of got to be the higher waters really uh, but i'm just wondering if we use these heavyweights. I'm kind of tempted. I, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we'll use these um, these heavyweights. Um, let's use the regular heavyweights, I think. So let's go with like one, two, three, uh, four to start off with. Maybe it depends how many people are going to use this line, but I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. So if we, if we were going to use that, then I'm thinking, what, on this line, uh, maybe maybe six trains to start off with. So, um, so we'd want one, two, three. Set those all on line. Uh, this is Fred Chelston. Here we go. Fredericksburg to Chelston. So what does that give us a frequency on that line? Let's, uh, bum, 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 bum. It's going to be at zero, isn't it? Fredericks Chelston. That gives us five minutes. Okay, so let's go down to the other end. And we'll do the same thing down here. So we're going to have a high water with four heavyweights. One, two, three, four. So what's that? They're 35 tons. They're 30. So there's not much in it. These carry one extra passenger. Yeah, kind of makes no difference. Um, okay, so one, two, three. Set those all on Fred Charleston. Right, what does that give us a frequency of Fred Charleston? 144 seconds. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. That's looking good. Okay, then. So, let's let's crank those up. See them pull out. There we go. That one's got a nice little down slope to get it going. Oh, I tell you what I haven't done, though. Uh, pause. I tell you what I haven't done. Uh, I didn't put a bus route in. In Charleston. Ooh, that's not good. Um, we need a bus route. Quick. Let's do a quick bus route. So, what do I want? I want... Um, let's put a bus stop there, by, right by the train station. And then, I'm thinking... There. 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 Um... Down here, and then maybe one over there for now. Let's just throw in a couple of quick lines. Boom, boom. Uh, 21, 22. Yeah, it's just going to be that little circle. There's, I mean, it's not very big yet, Charleston, but hopefully it's going to help it grow. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one goes the opposite way. One, six, five, four. Three, two. All right. Um, so that's that. What about? Uh, I'm f well, I would imagine this doesn't have anything. God, this is this is crazy small. It's a very very small town. It's also got a horrendous road system. So I am thinking that we maybe tamper with this a little bit. Let's maybe get rid of that. Let's have, um, bum, 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 I usually like, no, I guess I'll use a large street. If we bring a road down here like this, and then, 
Um, what the hell? Okay, what the hell's what the hell's going? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I just clicked. Okay, it's just me. It's just me a bit of planet. Um, nothing new, right? So uh, let's pop that in there. I want to upgrade that to large road, and we're gonna going to want to do the same up there. Uh, oh no, not across there. We want to go uh, up that way. So we're going to go in a circle round there. All right. Okay, so let's do... What did I want? I want bus stops. So we want a bus stop. Let's put a bus stop in there. And then one over there. One up here. One over there. Um, you know what? I'm going to put one there. Try and get a bit of coverage into there. And then one there. And that's probably as much as we want. I mean, I'm hoping this road might extend out here, so I'm kind of tempted to put one on this corner, but I'm not going to. Um, so don't ask me why. I just, I just don't feel like it. I mean, I could put one there, I suppose. It's a bit, it's a little bit close, but go on. We'll put one there as well. What the hell? All right. So I want uh, ba -ba -ba -bum, two lines, quick. Boom, boom. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Let's make this green again, so that we can see, see the lines. So we're gonna go from the station, boom, 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 and then the other way, round there, boom, 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 boom. Alrighty. So all we need to do is um, put some vehicles on those two. We've already got a line, and fortunately, we've already got a line which runs from this station straight over to this station. So that's actually very good. So we don't have to do anything there. So let's throw in. Uh, do, 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 do. What do I want? I want road vehicles. I want a depot. That'll do. I'm not going to faff around. Um, so this over here was um, 23 and 24. So Schneiders. Um, we've got seven stops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Set line all uh, 23. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven going on line 24 boom what does that give us frequency wise 23 and 24 uh, around 30 seconds so probably that's probably like one vehicle too many to be honest um, but yeah we'll we'll let it ride a bit of extra frequency get the whole thing going right now here in Charleston um, where am I gonna put I think we'll put the depot out here. So let's get depot. Oh, oh come on, come on, go on that junction bit there. That loop. Right, buy road vehicles. Uh, how many stops did we have? I can't remember. Can you? I can't remember. It's 21 and 22, isn't it? 21 and 22? Yes, it's 21 and 22. All right, so we want Schneiders uh, at six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you go on 21, boom, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, go on 22, boom, all right. Okay, so now we can absolutely crank it up. Okay, while that's doing, like, while, while that's kind of getting going, we're going to go and have a look at um, what I think is a bit of an issue. So I'm going to turn that off, I'm going to turn that off. And we're going to go and have a look at the Springfield line because the Springfield line and we're going to look at the West Shore as well but the Springfield line is losing like a million and it's full it's full of passengers and it's losing money right now why the hell is this happening it's a good question isn't it I mean it was it was making a little bit of money and then it's just kind of like the last couple of years it's gone to hell right now the vehicles the vehicles are a bit old, so the maintenance costs are going up. So, yeah, we should replace the trains on there. But, like, what's the hold-up? So, let's go and have a little bit of a look. So, if we go up here, here's the line going up to Springfield. We've got loads of people waiting at the stations. Our, our trains are full. Our trains are running. They're moving. 
So, so what's the problem? Why are we not making money? Well, I think the issue is this bit here. Because I think the Springfield trains are having to sit and wait there for quite a while before they can get in here. I think that I think that's what the problem is. So I think what we're going to do. Uh, let's pause this for a second. Now, can I um, f upgrade this to four tracks? No, because of that there. Apparently, might have to get rid of a bit of road. Uh, we want to upgrade it to high speed. Um, okay, so let's let's get rid of this little bit of road there. And uh, now let's see if we can upgrade this puppy to four tracks. Four tracks. Oh, God. Only removes five buildings. Costs eight and a half million. My God. All right. High speed. Uh, we'll leave the platform length as it is and apply. Cha-ching. All right, we're done. Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring this track into here, kind of obviously. Right, well, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to turn on my signals. Um, we could probably, I tell you what, I think we could do some more signals on this track. There aren't very many signals on this track. That, I think that would probably help a lot. We'll do, we'll do something about that. Because uh, what, what I was going to do was go around the signals and turn them into one ways. So that we don't, uh, hopefully, don't have so many trains flipping around. But it's like, it goes into a tunnel there. Uh, uh, turn those around. And that's kind of it. So, yeah, there's very little signalling going on on this bit of track. What the hell is that? Oh, that's that's underground, so we'll make that a one-way. Make that a one-way. Cool. And then... Do we make these? Do we make these one-ways? Um, we can make that one-way. We can make that a one-way. And we'll do that one and that one sorry about this i know this is kind of normally the, the kind of thing i do offline but i i i wanted to figure this problem out like while you were watching to see like what the real issue was because i spot i spotted it and i was like nah you know what don't don't figure it out now like wait and wait and wait till the guys are here and then we'll all figure it out together so let's make those one ways and that's probably good enough yeah well i'll go and do the last one why not all right, so um, bum, 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 get rid of that signal. Okay, so let's get rid of this little bit of track here. Now, where's the where's the train? There's a, there's a train there. Oh, there's a train there. We'll see if anything gets flipped around when I do this. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of this, obviously. There's another two and a half million gone. Get rid of that. Oh, by the way, I had an email from the um, from the developers. Urban Games, which I'm not going to tell you about now, but I will tell you about it, um, like, at some point in the future. Um, see, I, like, that kind of doesn't really line up with that, but... Maybe we could, like, come out a bit further and go into this, so get a bit closer to this junction. Let's try. Let's try. I don't know whether we'll be able to do it, but... We'll, we'll give it a go. See if we can get something a little bit smoother. So, if we try and bring you into there, what is it? Oh, okay, yeah, that's not... That's not particularly good. Alright, so, what would we... What would we do? Um, man, that's horrendously slow there. Okay, we are going to have to do this slightly differently. So let's bring this back to the other side of this. Oh, construction not possible. Why? Like, seriously, why? I take those sections out. Okay, why the hell can't I get... Oh, now I can get rid of that. No, jeez. 
Okay. Can I can I even hook these roads back up now? Is this a large street? Is it a medium street? Oh, it's a medium street. There we go. So we'll, we'll be knocking these houses down, but that kind of is what it is. So we bring this one round. Construction not possible. All right. So can we get you across that road? Now, if we do that, is it going to do horrible things? Yeah, it's going to do horrible things. That's the only thing. Oh. So do I, do I just get rid of this? Ah, uh, it's a million, what the hell. Get rid of that. And... I'd like to try and avoid getting rid of that if I can. Like, can I sneak them through now? Let's have a look. Oh, it's clipping that. Okay, well. Do our little trick. Get a, get a little road. Put it in there. Trim off the end. Get rid of that. Right, so. I think that'll allow me to get this one in. Get any other one in. It's a different story. So, yeah. That'll go in there. So what I'm going to do, I think, is take it a little bit further. Like that, maybe. And then bring it into there. Uh, slows it slows it down so much though. That's the problem. Let's come back a little bit. Let's come back a little bit. Because that is like 50 miles an hour. It's pretty slow. Okay, that's 75. All right. So if we do that, accept that, and then and this one down here. Okay, right, so we've got those going into there. So now we can put these roads back, hopefully. Medium street going across there. You know what, that's that's going to have to go because it's going to do something really horrible. It's another 300k. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's an expensive business building railroads. Let's try taking you from that side. I, I wish these roads would join up a little bit more nicely sometimes. Um, what about if I just put it in like that and hook it up? Well, I suppose the road's got a little bit of personality. <laughs> that's, that's about the only saving grace I can find. Alright, you go into there. That's fine. Cool. i got to say, this is going to be horrendous for the traffic, though, I think. Having these two train just and this junction in the middle. Good lord. And that... Is that... Oh, that's the main road. That's the one the buses are coming along. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. And we've got our bus routes going through there as well. Oh, that's like a little bit of a nightmare. Man, maybe I should have tunneled that. Ah, yeah, yeah. How do, like how could we do something better with, with for this? Um, I mean, the only thing would be if we could tunnel this bit, but I ju I just don't see how that's possible. It's such a short run from there to there. You wouldn't be able to get a tunnel. Um, bridges, not really an option. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about it. Well, you know what? We'll just we'll leave it. We'll see. We'll see. So we need uh, we need a little bit of signalling work. The thing is, having done that, I think it would make sense to go down here uh, and maybe this section of track we double track. What do you think? Well, quad track in actual fact. So I think it makes kind of sense. So if we run that, it's going to be very expensive, but. Uh, it's a little bit higher than the other track. Uh, if I okay, if we do a little bit of track like that, 
Will you hook onto that? Yes, you will. Boom. Right. And I'll run you out like that. Ooh, this might this might just be this might just be okay. Right, so let's bring you up to there. And you down to here. And the thing is, we kind of need to do this because certainly if we're going to try and put in the the fast trains, the acellers at some point, then yeah, we want them on their own dedicated track because otherwise it would be a bit of a nightmare. So, let's um, get rid of this. Cool. Uh, we'll take that back. about there so let me try and get hopefully a smooth track was train collision really oh because there's a little bit of track there that's why that I missed there we go right let's try that again so you hook up to there yeah speeds are good and you hook into there hurrah Okay, I think this is some. Um, come on, guy. I think this is quite an improvement. I am going to get rid of that, these old signals. And we'll put in some nice new signals. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty. Uh, do, 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 do. So, next signals are there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in some extra signals. Like, probably probably quite a few on on this section um, okay that's all fine we've got those signals there we need a couple of signals going in here and I mean again I should are those yep those are, they are the old ones let's get rid of the old ones come on there we go pop in a couple of nice new ones go on go on that look on the right side doesn't want it Oh, there we go. I'd put I'd put that one on the wrong side. Oops. There we go. So, bum, 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 and then we've got same thing we want to do here. So we want a signal there. We want a signal there with a the road junction. We need a signal before the station. We need a signal after the station. Well, before the station on this side. Um, and we need signals for this road junction. Boom. Signals for this road junction, so one on that side, one on that side. Um, I'll put a couple of extra signals in here. Boom, boom. And. Okay, we'll put uh, some signals in before the tunnel entrance. And then. Some tunnel, some signals in kind of about halfway between. Okay, now let's have a look at these two trains. So you are going in the right direction. You haven't flipped around. You're going in the right direction. So I'm kind of hoping none of these trains have flipped around. The only thing is, are any of these trains on the wrong line? Yeah, you're on the wrong line. So what we need to do to make sure that our trains don't get upset is allow... So if there's trains down there, that's fine. doesn't matter. But if there are trains on this line, we need a way for them to get onto that line. So, boom. All right, so that train that's kind of stranded there should be able to get to where it's going. All right, should we, um, should we see if that works? Actually, let's follow this train because that would be kind of cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but like trains going over switches... Switching from one line to another line is kind of cool. For me. Don't ask me why. My god, I spent almost 100 million. Just putting those trains down in Charleston and doing this little bit of track here. I need to come around here and do a bit of smoothing. It's all a bit brutal. So you're going to tootle down here, and then here comes the switch. Let's 
It didn't even slow you down. Impressive. Okay, so you're all going to total over there. So what I'm hoping is that now we've done that, these will actually make money instead of losing money, which would be kind of nice. And ultimately, we need to put in um, Grand Central Station in New York and have these trains running into New York. I, I mean, I suppose we could look at that. I mean, it, it's just a case of putting track, just, just a case of running track right through the centre of New York. But I think we're going to put Grand Central in as um, an underground station anyway. So, yeah. Now, Grand Central is about, like, here-ish. It's underneath the Met... It's underneath the Met... I mean, I should know where it is, because it's underneath the Met building, and I used to work in the Met building. Met Life building. Uh, it used to be... It used to be the old Pan Am building. Then it became the Met Life building. I don't know whether it's changed again. It may have changed again since I worked there. So, yeah. Do, like, do we... Do we do this? Do we put in Grand Central? You know, if we put it in as an underground sta station, and then just have a tunnel that comes out here um, it's th the only issue is getting this into a tunnel which I don't know maybe maybe we can do uh, let's upgrade this to high speed just because it looks nicer oh, you have to press accept lemon here we go um, what was I doing high speed and apply okay we're going to do that. We might do that. We might do that. I want to look at a couple of things. First, I want to have a look at the oil because this thing is churning out a lot of oil now. This is producing at 5,000. How are these trains coping? We've got 250. Pause. We've got 260 oil. This train only carries 120. So I think we need to. Um, Bump these trains back up to the full 12 that they that they used to have. So, um, well, if I can afford it, that's the only thing. So, what do I want to do? I want to go there, and I want uh, an extra two of these. One, two. Can I do that with 30 million? Just try. Replace. Full oh, it's only 14 million. Yeah, in that case. Yes, please. Boom. There we go. So, have you upgraded? Yes, you have. So now you can carry 144, which is a bit more. Where's the next train? Oh, here's the next train. It's not a long wait for the next train. So we're up to 190, 200. 220, 240. The thing is, I can't make these trains any longer than that, really. I mean, I might be able to add one more car on, but that's kind of it. So we're just about keeping up with it at the moment, but that's kind of good news. Because that's shipping a hell of a lot of oil down here. Now, is this keeping up? And the answer is, yes, it is. So let's have a little look at... Uh, now... Where's the... So, Northeast Fuels making 26 million. Northeast Corridor is making 24. Uh, Utica Oil is making 15. So, hopefully... I mean, that should be going up, really. You'd kind of hope. Oh, this is edging back up towards 30 million. So, hopefully, we've got over our production issues. Because if you remember, the coal and the, um, the grain went down to zero. How... How are they doing with recovering? Oh, that's back up to 1300 now, so that's kind of good. So I'm guessing the grain will be at exactly the same level. Let's have a look over here. Um, that email that I got from the developers, I, I will go through it with you. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this episode, but I will go through it. Um, basically, they were, they were watching my videos, and uh, they, they were seeing some of the problems that I had, and they explained some of the stuff. So it'd be very good. So I think probably in the next episode I'll uh, I'll show you the email and we'll 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 kind of go through and I'll explain to you what they said, which is very interesting. 
Um, so what are we doing? Okay, so production's at about 1,300 now. So hopefully that should continue to tick up. Now that we've recovered, get a bit of coal in. There we go. So hopefully that should continue to build up till we get up to kind of more towards the 3,000 level. And if that happens, then this line should be pretty profitable. So we're going to have to add more vehicles um, and more trucks and whatever onto this line as we go along. How much fuel? You, how much alcohol are you picking up? Oh, 95 of 105, so almost a full load. So that's peachy. Look at it. Look, there's a little dance that goes on here, which is beautiful. I love how this station works. So coal train comes in, oil train goes out. Well, I keep saying oil. Uh, alcohol train goes out. Then out goes a coal train. It's difficult to see with the with the smoke sometimes. Coal train comes in. We've got a fuel train behind it. Now, because of the way I've played around with the signals, that can get moving very quickly. That can pull into the other platform. Coal train pulls out. Next coal train pulls in. This station is so freaking busy, it's unbelievable. Next coal train pulls in. Alcohol train pulls out. The next coal train's ready to pull in. It's actually very cool. Alright, so how are we doing? Um, yeah, we're, we're at about that 1250 level, but hopefully... Oh, we're pushing up to 1300. Yeah, and... The more we can keep this production up, oh, getting up to 1,500. The more that production goes up, the more it increases the um, the demand. So hopefully production will be going up here. But of course it, it goes up and down in line with this thing going up and down. So yeah, it'll take time, but we'll get there eventually. Right, shall we see how the Charleston line is doing? We've got people, we've got, we've got passengers. We've got passengers waiting, which is a good thing. Um, you know what? I'm going to turn on the I'm going to turn on the buses as well. Oh, so not too many people waiting for buses, but then we've got a fairly efficient bus service running around. How are we doing? So, how many passengers are going to pick up? Three, <laughs> really? Three passengers? We need Charleston to grow. How are we doing at Charlotteville? Zero passengers, really? Oh, great, so I've put in another non-profitable line. Oh, that's good. How are we doing up here? How many passengers? One. Really? One passenger? Two. Three. I know it's still early days, but I thought we might get a few more passengers than that. Um, here, there's, there's two bus stops, like, pretty close by. I would have thought we'd be doing better than that. What the hell are you doing? God, that sat there for a long time, didn't it? What the hell was he up to? By the way, look look at these buses. They are... I'm thinking they're pretty old. Let's have a look. Detail... Oh, no, it's a, it's a, that's a person. What about this? How old are you? Uh, 19 years, so it's coming up to the end of its life. But it's still okay. Alrighty. Well... Mm. I was hoping that this line would build up a bit quicker than this, but apparently, well, well, here we go, five. Well, I guess we, I guess we're kind of sort of getting there slowly. So let's have a look at um, God. Okay, we got we got fifteen. Pa okay, it is building up. We are building up. So let's um, let's have a look at the the line profitability. I guess. So, we sort this. Where are we, Fred Shaw? So we're, lo <laughs> we're losing six million on that line. That's not good. Now the West Shore Railroad we're not making money on. And that really surprises me. 
Um, we're just we're just not like not getting the passengers on that line, which is crazy. New York Springfield, that's the one that we've just hopefully fixed, is still losing money, even though the passengers is pretty much maxed out all the time. It's losing money. What like why? I kind of don't understand. That line. Oh, oh, we've just gone positive. Oh, freaking hooray. Good news. So there you go. I mean, just turning around that loss of three quarters of a million means that we're making an extra million a year now. And that's just from the trains waiting. So the West York. Now, why the hell would the West York Railroad be running at a loss? And I think it's just because we don't have enough passengers on that line. So maybe... We need to trim the trains down. So we're only running four coaches. So I guess we'll just run three coaches. We've got eight trains. We've actually got quite a lot of trains. I could drop a couple of trains. But I don't really want to drop the frequency. The frequency is only four minutes now. I don't want to go any less than that. I mean, in fact, increasing the frequency might help. So, okay. Let's replace those. That's going to cost me 18 million. Boom. Right, that will reduce the um, the capacity, so hopefully we'll make a bit more. Let's put a couple more trains on there to, to increase the frequency, which might help with a few extra passengers. So, let's go up here. Now, the question is, well, I can use this depot up here, can't I? Where is it? Where are you, depot? There you are. So, here we go. By trains. So this was um, this was just uh, an Atlantic with three. Was it? It'd be, it'd be with three of these, wouldn't it? Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, and we want a couple of these. So let's clone that. You know what? Let's just let's just throw you on. What the hell? So um, set them online. All this is the. Uh, the West Shore Railroad. Boom. Okay, so let's have a look. West Shore Railroad. You're currently losing me two million, West Shore Railroad. Which is not good. I'm not impressed. So, okay, we've decreased the frequency from four minutes to three minutes. I kind of tempted to put one more train on then. Um, by trains. Atlantic. By... Three coaches, one, two, three, and set line all, where are we, Bay Coast, no, uh, no, 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 not Bay Coast, okay, pause, I've messed that up, they should be on West Shore, you idiot, West Shore, good lord, West Shore, where's West Shore, West Shore, boom, so, what line are you on? Did I, did I put them on West York? I don't, I don't know. Let's see. West York. Uh, are you stuck because of the other two? Oh, no, no, are you coming out? Did I put the other two on West York? I would have sworn I said Baker. I like, did I say Baker's? Well, no, the trains are coming out, so. All right. No, I must have put them on the line because we've gone from four minutes to three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Weird things. Weird things. Weird things in my brain. There's no way they can get from one line to the other, so they, they must all be on the West York. Otherwise, they'd be saying bad things there's no, there's no trains in there no I, I must have hit the right thing I must have put them on the right line jeez yeah they all seem to be yeah they're, they're alright they're alright I, I don't think I did screw it up yeah yeah we were at 8 trains and we're now at 11 so I've put 3 trains on there so what we've done is we've actually kept the capacity about the same, but we've increased the frequency. Now the question is, 
Like, are, like, are we going to get passengers? Because look, well, I've got like one passenger waiting here. Now, okay, fair enough. We've we've just put trains, uh, like a bunch of trains on. So there's a train pulling in here, like straight away. But look, it's just it's not ticking up. So we're picking up like one passenger from there. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what to do about that. How are we doing? Let's have, go and have a look at Albany. So we got passengers in Albany. Yeah, we've got we've got quite a few passengers in Albany. And then down at New York. Um well Newark, isn't it? Uh, the trains come in here, here we go. So it's this station. And down here, yeah, we've got like fifty passengers waiting. So it's just Utica. That kind of sucks and doesn't have any passengers. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, here we go. Now we've got a few people showing up. This is more like it. Four people. Increasing the frequency does make a big difference. Okay, well, now that we've, up, now that we've changed that and increased the frequency, we'll kind of see. We'll see if this picks up a little bit over time. It'll take a while, because obviously like, people decide, oh, that is a good route. Then... They've got to, like, like from wherever they are, they've got to, like, maybe go home first and then from home go to the, the bus stop and catch the bus and then get to the train station and before they even get on our trains. So it'll take a while for that to uh, for that to upgrade. But, yeah, we're getting people. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, maybe that'll pick up now. Wouldn't that be nice? Right, let's have a look at our profitability. So, we were losing, like, it was over one and a half million. So, we'll see. We'll see if that picks up. The Bay Coast Railroad is doing quite nicely, making four million. All right, so let's see where else are we losing money. So we're losing ten million on the Fredericksburg Charleston line. That needs to pick up. Um, the West Shore and then the Utica Oil Only line. We're losing. How can we be losing money on the Utica Oil Only line? That's crazy. These trains are running like full of oil. Yeah, these trains are running full of oil. How can they possibly be running at a loss? So, we made a profit for a couple of years and then we suddenly made a loss. Why? That makes no sense at all. We're in the middle of 1941. How can we be losing money? That's insane. We've got a couple of road vehicles that need... Uh, Boston 3 and 4 need upgrading. Let's set those to automatically upgrade. Um, let's go to lines. Boston 3 and 4. These should... Oh, no, I haven't set these to automatically upgrade. Oh, that, well, those are the new lines, so no, that's fair enough. But I thought all the... Oh, there's a few that aren't... Uh, this is all the RFs, isn't it? We need to go to the RPs. Here we go. Yeah, all of these should be set to automatically upgrade. Where are we? Where's Boston? Oh, I missed these two. I wonder why. So, we should be Schneiders. Okay. Automatic replace. And here, same thing. Schneiders. Okay. And automatically replace. Okay, that's dealt with that. Well, any others that I missed? Yeah, oh, yeah. That one. That should be Schneider's. Okay, automatic. Any others that I've missed? Yeah, there's, there are a few that I've missed. I, I don't know why. Because I suck, basically, I suppose. I suppose that would be... No, 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 no. On. And you. Replace. Schneider's. Okay, on. Do, 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 do. Any more? No. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, Washington 3 and 4. So, replace. Schneider. Okay. Automatic replace on. And same with you. Schneider. Okay. And automatic replace on. Cool. And then we're up to the ships. All right. So, is this getting any better? Yeah, it looks like this is catching up. 
I wonder what the hell happened? Did something weird go on? Yeah, production has dropped a little bit. I wonder if we've, if we've had a bit of a glitch. We had too much oil build up here. I don't think so. Because it's like, there's no oil waiting. No, yeah, you've got a full load of oil. You're just dropping off. That's fine. No, I mean, it, it all looks like it's working. So I really don't understand that. Okay, let's go. Um, boom, 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 boom. What next? Seriously, we can only get 47 passengers on that freaking line. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Got six passengers waiting. How are we doing over at Charlottesville? My thing is that Charlottesville and Charleston are relatively small. And what we really need to do is like, grow them so we, what we could do with this is like shipping stuff out to like fuel and um and alcohol shipping that out here would actually be good to get these to grow and food all right well i think what are we up to 56 million how much are we making a year um not as much as we were now we've put this line in that's gonna take a while to get going i you know what i think the sensible thing to do is to save ourselves a, like quite a lot of money and change the trains. Um, so what, what, what? I put high wathers on, didn't I? All right. Well, we'll stick with the high wathers, but we'll just run um, like a couple of heavyweights. What, what have we got? Like we've got four train truck. Yeah, four. Let's just run a couple. One. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. It is. Try again. Where are we? Heavyweight. Heavyweight parlors, one, two. Let's just run them with two. Replace. We get 12 million back. That's not a bad thing. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, that should kind of like almost halve our losses. Uh, well, probably not actually because the, the locomotive is the, the most expensive part. But it will, it will save us a bunch of money. That's quite a loss. West Shore is actually picking up a little bit okay well that's good news 350 355 we can get that like over 400 we might actually start making a profit on that line now this airline has started making a loss as well oh good lord okay look okay so these are fine they're all making like well i mean they're, they're okay they're not fine but they're okay this one suddenly had no passengers. Why? Why would that suddenly change? And is it suddenly going to come back? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got to say, it, things are not running smoothly. <laughs> like, they're really not running smoothly. Oops. Are you going to take off? No, there's another one coming in. Yeah, I think I, I... I think I need to get rid of at least another one plane on each one of these. So what line are you? Start with the green line. So you... Go to depot and be sold. So that's a green one. Wait for the next plane to come in. What are you? Oh, can I click on you? Oh, oh, you're a blue one. Oh, it's the Spirit of St. Louis. I'm not selling the Spirit of St. Louis. No way. Are you a blue oh, Come on, be a blue one. Yes, you're a blue one. And you got zero passengers on board. So, I'll tell you what. Go to the depot and be sold. There we go. So, what, why? Now, why have you flown off? Ugh, idiot. Okay. Well, at least that should let our planes take off now. So we've reduced those two. So now we want to go up to Boston and do the same thing. So let's zip up to Boston. Do, 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 do. Where's Boston? Uh, Boston is up here. Here we go. So we want the planes as they come in. Here we go. Let's have a look. What are you? You're a... 
pinky purple one. So we'll uh, we'll send you. You got eight passengers, but I'm still going to send you to be sold. And what's this? We want a dark blue one. No, nope, that's pinky purple again. We want a dark blue. More coming in. Okay. We've taken off. God, I'll be glad when we can upgrade these airports to two runways. We can't. Yeah, this um, I. This is cargo. Somebody did point out this is the cargo icon, icon, which is kind of a giveaway. All right. Well. So. You coming in? You coming into land? Looks like it. You're another pinky purple. Where are the, where the hell are the dark blue ones? Where's all the dark blue planes? There's a lot of planes, like, circling around. Where the hell are you going? You're a dark blue one. Oh, here we go. Here's a dark blue one. Okay, so as soon as you land, we'll send you. So that brings us down to nine planes. And hopefully, that should make things a little bit better. Come on, game. I know it's month end, but come on, try and keep up. So let's get you sent to the depot. There we go. Oh, did you just take off and go... Like, really? There's a depot there. How can you possibly think... There's a better depot to go to. Like, really? Okay, I've got another plane coming in. Okay, well, getting rid of those should ease things a little bit. There we go. So, come on, take off. Get, out, get the hell out of there. Uh, where the hell are you going? Are you coming into land? You're coming into land now. So this has got to wait. Let's, uh, let's just have a little look and see just how busy this is. So there's another one coming into land. So this has got to wait. And then there's another one coming into land. So this has got to wait. Got a lot of planes coming into land. The thing is, I think they're I think they're maybe bunching up a little bit, which is kind of not helping. Are you coming into? I was gonna now you. I'm pretty sure that you've got waved off because that one hadn't finished landing. Right now we'll get some planes actually take off. We've got other planes flying around not doing anything. Okay, so you take off. Coming up to the end of the year. I've got to say, I'm kind of tempted. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to get rid of another plane on each line. So, that's a, that's a pink purple. That's okay. So, that would kind of work. So, if we say, you're going to be sold. And you're going to be sold. Go. So, these two should just go straight into it. I'm going to wait until they've gone around this corner before I sell them in future. We have got a new, a new bus, which is kind of good news. Okay, so you're coming into land. Oh no, you're taking off. You, you going to take off next? Oh no, there's one coming into land. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of... Let's go back down to Dulles and we'll get rid of another two planes down there. Uh, where the hell am I going? I'm going all the way down to Dulles. Oh man. Um, you know, I've got to say, this doesn't get any easier. It really doesn't. I thought I thought we'd kind of be flying along by now. Let's uh, let's just have a quick look at our profit situation. Okay, so Northeast Corridor is now making thirty-four million. So that's gone up. So that has been, that has benefited from us sorting out the uh, the New York Springfield line, which is now making six hundred and fifty thousand. So that's like one and a half million more we're making on that line. So that's an improvement. The uh, the Bay Coast Rail Railroad is... we doing any better? Well, at least we're making a profit now. Now, have I got the Bay Coast and the West Shore mixed up again? 
Yeah, I've got I've got those two mixed up again. We need to go and look at this line. So why the hell? No, 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 no I got it right. Um, okay, this is I think this is maybe improving slightly. How many how many trucks have we got on the vehicles? We've only got three for heaven's sake. Now I could drop that down to two. But we're, I mean, we're only running, yeah, I mean, I probably should drop it down to two, although it's, it is creeping up slowly. Maybe I just need a bit more patience, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'll read your comments and see what advice you guys have got. Um, the Boston Fertilizer line is not making any money, which is kind of ridiculous. I think that, I think that Boston Fertilizer line is just complete waste of time we're because we're running we're running that and the trucks but this should be this should be running okay well it's looking to upgrade in seven months well we'll see but that should be running flat out because this has got like high production so I don't see why um, so I might, I don't know, I might get rid of the ships again, because they're, they're not making money, they're just losing us money at this point. Um, and we need to stop losing some of these extreme amounts of money. Okay, this is getting a little better, we're under a million, the loss now. But look, Utica Oil Only has got, is suddenly losing money. What the hell's going on there? Uh, man, it's a constant battle to to try and keep things running. Have you just, like, stopped producing? Yeah, you're producing zero. Now, pause. Is that because we've had an upgrade at Newark? I mean, it's possible. But I don't... No. They have both stopped producing completely. Why? Like, completely out of the blue. The... <laughs> Oh, and this one's now suddenly decided to start again. Like, why? The the problem is, guys, that this is killing us, you know? It's... I, I'm not making enough money to be able to upgrade the trains that we the way that I want to. Uh, you know what? We'll leave it there for this episode, but... Um, yeah. I, I've got to say, I'm not happy about this. I was expecting for us to be making, like, pretty decent amounts of money now. But, see, that impacts the the Northeast fuel and alcohol. It impacts the, the Utica oil line. That's down to only making 13 million. This thing should be making, like, oh, over 30 million easily now. And it's not. And we're losing a couple of million. Actually, let's do it the other way. Let's, let's just flip it around. We're losing a couple of million. We're losing three and a half million on the on the Utica oil only line, um, and we kind of can't afford to do that. So I I don't know I don't know I um, I do want to electrify the main line and get the um, get the GG ones running. It is GG ones, isn't it? I think it's GG ones. Um, but I, you know what? I might try and do that. But like right now, I couldn't I couldn't even afford to do it. I mean, I okay, I could go away and leave it for a couple of years. And then come and do it. So, yeah. Things are still not easy. This is working again. The production has bounced back up to 2,000. But, and the limit, we've got the limit up to 7,300, which is awesome. But these drops to zero are killing us. Alright guys, I'm going to stop moaning. Uh, if you've got comments, suggestions, whatever, leave them. I'll catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Ish. Peace out.